Let's talk passports and visas. Make sure before you start traveling that you know what your expiration date of your passport is. Be aware that there are countries around the world who have, as a rule, that your passport is still valid after you leave the country for three more months, sometimes even up to six more months. I only have my original passport on me when I have travel days from A to B. Otherwise, I have my passport in a safe or in the locker of my dorm. That's why I have, that's a practical tip, always three copies of my passport on me. I have, when I am outdoors, always a copy of my passport on me. If somebody asks, I can show them my passport, the copy of my passport, and most of them I was actually never asked for it, but uh, most authorities are okay with that. A lot of times when you uh, want to register at a hotel or hostel, they ask you to leave your original passport behind. I don't like that. It's not always safe. They are not always, the reception desks are not always that secure. So then if I ask if it's okay that I leave a copy of my passport behind, most of the hotels and hostels are okay with that one. But don't forget to get your copy back. You need it in another hostel. There are a few tourist attractions around the world that require that you have your passport on you when you enter. Think of the Forbidden City in Beijing or the United Nations office in Geneva. If you have a copy on you of your passport and in a sad case that you lost your passport or even worse it's stolen, if you have a copy on you, you can go to the police station, hand them the, a copy of the passport, especially if in a country where you don't speak the language, it makes the conversation much more easier because they almost have all the dates they need already for the report. If you travel a long time or you want to go to many different countries, make sure that you have enough room left in your passport for all the visas that you get or you need. So let's talk visa. Visa is a legal document approved by the country that you are allowed to enter the country and stay in the country. It's also for the country a nice way to know who wants to enter the country, how long they want to stay and even put some restrictions on it if they want to. A visa is of course also a nice income for the country. Many countries uh, have a visa on arrival. Uh, so uh, whether you go all overseas, overland or by plane you enter the country, you can arrange the visa while entering the country. Most of the times it's just a simple stamp and if you pay for the fee, which most of the times you have to pay in cash and US dollars is accepted everywhere. So make sure that you have them, that you know what the fee is and it is, makes it easier and quicker if you can pay the exact amount they want to. For visa, it can become handy that you have some spare sets of passport pictures on you. There are a few countries in the world where you have to apply for the visa before you come. So, so for me, I'm from the Netherlands. I also have to do an ATA or STR for the USA, for Canada and Australia. And you have to do it before you enter the country. It's most of the times online and it's very easy and quickly arranged, but you have to do it before you go. There are a few countries in the world where you have to apply for a visa way before you go. And it takes some time to. Uh, for me, the com most complicated and longest one was China because they actually want to uh, have your uh, plane ticket out of the country. They want to know you, the exact route you're traveling and you already have to show them the reservations of all your hotels you're going to use. Other countries you have to arrange before you go is Cuba, Russia or Myanmar. Myanmar. Not all the rules for the visas and passports are the same for everybody. So it depends sometimes on which country you're from and which country you go, what the rules are. Uh, the nice thing of visa on arrival is it's very easy to renew your visa. Sometimes you can actually uh, arrange it at the city hall or the police uh, station. But if not, uh, most of there are some countries that require that you leave the country for 24 48 or say 72 hours and then if you come back 
you can uh, get a new visa. So if you are, say, in Laos, you just go on a weekend trip to Thailand or to Vietnam and you get back in the country and you get a new visa for 30 days. Thanks for watching. I want to share my travel experience, tips, tricks and lifestyle with you. So I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Put on a smile. It's universal language.